Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be determining which is bigger, pi or the square root of 10. Let's get stuck in. We're going to be using the solution or the result from the Basel problem, which says that pi squared over 6 is the same as the sum of the reciprocals of the squares. So if I do 1 over 1 squared plus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 3 squared and so on forever, this turns out to be pi squared over 6. I've made a few videos on this. I'll leave a link to one in the description. Anyway, let's continue with this. What we're going to do is try and find a bound on this right hand side, in particular, this kind of tail of the sum. So from one over two squared onwards. Well, we're going to use the fact that one over n squared is certainly less than one over n squared minus a quarter. This is hopefully pretty clear. n squared is bigger than n squared minus a quarter. So the reciprocal of n squared will be less than the reciprocal of n squared minus a quarter. And now a quarter is a half squared. So I can think of this as n squared minus a half squared and then use the difference of two squares. So this is one over n minus a half times n plus half, like so. OK, cool. Well, now we're going to use uh, just some partial fractions. So I'll leave the, uh, for you to check this yourself. But this just equals one over n minus a half minus one over n plus a half, like so. Amazing. And now we're just going to apply that over here with this kind of thing. And we'll say that well, this is going to be less than, we'll keep the first term the same. So 1 over 1 squared is the same, but 1 over 2 squared is going to be less than this thing here, which is 1 over 2 minus a half, which is 3 over 2, minus 1 over 5 over 2. So that comes from plugging in 2 into this expression here. OK, what if we plug in n is 3 into this expression? Well, we're going to get 1 over 3 minus half. So that's 1 over 5 over 2 minus 1 over 7 over 2. OK, cool. What about if we sub in n is 4 into this? Well, we're going to get 1 over 4 minus a half, which is 1 over 7 over 2, minus 1 over 4 plus a half, which is 1 over 9 over 2. And this carries on forever. But you may have already noticed this is just a what we call a telescoping sum where loads and loads of terms cancel out. So you can see here we've got minus one over five over two, but then a plus one over five or two over, over two there. So those are going to cancel out. We've got minus one over seven over two here and a plus one over seven over two here. So those are going to cancel out. We've got minus 1 over 9 over 2 plus 1 over 9 over 2 here. So those are going to cancel out as well. And so everything thereafter will also cancel out. And we're just left with this here. So we get that pi squared over 6 is less than 1 over 1 squared, which is just 1, plus 1 over 3 over 2, which is 2 thirds. And that altogether is 5 thirds. Multiplying both sides by 6, we get pi squared is less than 10. And so therefore pi is less than the square root of 10. And this is a pretty cool proof. I don't think we use anything too fancy. I mean, maybe you could argue that this is kind of an advanced result, but I've made a video on it. It's a pretty common result. Um, not easy to prove, but a nice little result. And yeah, we managed to prove that pi is less than the square root of 10. In fact, the square root of 10 is something like 3.16. Pi is 3.14, roughly. So it's actually quite close to each other. So it's actually a very tight squeeze, which we managed to, to prove here. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this, you may also enjoy a video I've made where I compare pi and the cube root of 31. Those are even closer. And we work out in that video which one is bigger. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up as well. It supports me. It's a free way to support the channel as well. And if later down the line, you no longer are interested in my videos, you can always unsubscribe then. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.